Welcome back to another Weatherford Genius tutorial. My name is Andoni, and we're going to be going over how to troubleshoot Apple CarPlay. Sometimes you'll run into instances where you'll come back to your vehicle and your phone will not automatically connect to Apple CarPlay. Or sometimes when you come in for service and you get an update, your car will sometimes lose connection um, just because when the car is hooked up to the computer, it causes a little confusion. Some things that you may run into is if you go into communication looking to connect to Apple CarPlay and it's not even listed, or in other cases, sometimes you'll see that it says phone in Apple CarPlay. And sometimes when you click on it, it just doesn't do anything. So if you ever run into any of these obstacles, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna just go ahead and go into communication. You'll scroll down into mobile devices. Then you'll go ahead and select your device. You first wanna just make sure that the connection mode is Apple CarPlay. If you still find trouble connecting, you'll then wanna just delete the device off of the car. And then that's when you go into your smartphone and delete the car off of the phone. What this is gonna do is it's gonna erase both connections and we're gonna reestablish them by reconnecting. So now that we have both the phone deleted off the car and the car deleted off the phone, the way that we'll reconnect is we'll go ahead and go into communication. We'll scroll down into mobile devices and on the top right of your screen, you should see new device. Once you're there, you'll then select phone calls and audio via Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. And then you'll get to the screen where you notice that your car is named with BMW and then five numbers after that. Then we'll refer to the smartphone. We'll go ahead and go into CarPlay and we'll go ahead and select the car. Once we do that, you'll notice that there's a couple of prompts that will show up. Select pair to go ahead and allow the device to pair. We'll also wanna hit allow to allow the contacts to transfer over. So now you'll notice once that happens, the car is gonna load into CarPlay and you should be all set again. Now, if you follow those steps and Apple CarPlay is still not working for you, there's another step that we can do. So what you'll wanna do is you wanna select home and then you'll scroll down to apps. Once you're in apps, what you can do is now you can hit options on your iDrive control knob here, and then you can update apps and services. Because Apple CarPlay is a service that BMW provides, sometimes you'll have to just update it just to allow the car to re-communicate. Now, once you updated the apps and services on the car, there's just one extra step that you would need to do to actually apply that update. With the engine running, you'll then select the volume knob. You'll press and hold that down until you see the screen fully turn off and then turn right back on again. Usually you'll hold the button down for anywhere between 30 to 35 seconds. And this is doing like a system reboot. Um, and this will go ahead and alleviate most issues that you've been experiencing. And then once it pops back on, you'll then let go. And then once you've got it restarted, then just go through that pairing process one last time and it should work. Thank you for tuning in to another Weatherford Genius tutorial. We'll see you soon.